How's cooking going? It's going. Today your oven crapped itself. Well, not the oven, but the transformer for it. So I think it's changing the power into 220, as you can see. But I want to be able to disconnect it without having live wires around. Figure it out. We got it out. Oh. See the plug? Mm hmm So this is the socket that the oven was plugged into. Mm hmm And this wire was plugged in, like basically, this is like going into a regular outlet. When you turn the microwave on, the outlet comes, comes on. This is just like a plug that would go in an outlet, but it was switch in the back. So setting power into this thing, and it was converts it to 220, and then it works through the oven. But look, see it's all burn up? Yeah. This stinks real oh bad. Oh my gosh. And actually, like, the wood up in there has some burn marks on it, too. Anytime you let stuff sit, electronics, mechanical, all that stuff, and you start using it, it's going to break. Stuff's going to break, and you're going to have to work all the bugs out, and that's exactly what you're doing. We'll get one of those, but it turned out your microwave can do it. Yeah, but the worst possible day for an oven to quit is probably Thanksgiving and Christmas dinner, so yeah. maybe Easter, too. So the oven crapped itself and thankfully Thankfully, the microwave also works as a convection oven. It actually has the turkey in it, and then I have the green bean casserole under the turkey. I'm trying to do two things at once, because I probably have six to eight things to cook. So I'm trying to do two things at once and then put them in the oven as a hot box. Hopefully they all create heat together to keep everything warm. We're all together, and it's a beautiful scene, and the boys are fishing, we're playing music, I'm drinking a mimosa, and we're having a great time. I don't like catfish. All the other catfish <laughs> swam off. In hey. the description to last year's incident. Jess, do you want to uh, take it off? No. <laughs> I didn't know that fish were spiky on the top of their fin, and I stabbed my hand with it. And then I thought it just poked me, because I had a glove on. But I took my glove off, and there was blood everywhere. And it dripped on Trevor, and it was all over the floor. Burn in. So Trevor can catch one. It's teamwork. It is champagne time. Thanks, At Anchor. With a burn up inverter converter behind you. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, no, you don't shoot it. Are you gonna shoot it? Well, wait, should Are you gonna I fire aim? it? Woo! Bubbly. Champagne time. And we got some apple cider for you kids. Another Thanksgiving tradition. <laughs> We anchored in this spot, but there's a boat that's listing, and we want to just ensure it's not on the ground because then we could possibly swing into it. She has a portable depth sounder that we use for the dinghy. You can go like into an area, you can see how deep it is before you pull your boat in. So she's just going to go over and get some readings from around the hall. Uh, tow boat already came out and looked at it. They can't tell if it's on the ground or if it's sinking and nobody's on board. So she's gonna get some readings just to see how deep the water is there. And then we can do a quick guess whether or not to, if it's on the ground. If it's 13 feet, like right here, then that boat's not on the ground. Well, the first time it said 11, the next time it said like 12.6. Okay. The trip with Jess and Trev was quickly coming to an end. We're so thankful they were able to join us for the initial trip down the ICW. Although we'd love for them to join us for the crossing to the Bahamas, they have to get back to school. So we took one more day and just enjoyed the family being together.
birthday, dear. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just fixing my little turtle flipped over on the bracelet that you and Reese got me for my Turtley. birthday. It's so precious. My favorite sea creature, you remember. Yep. Reese picked out the color. Yeah, it's perfect. You ready to go party a little bit? Yeah. Tomorrow is our weather window. Mm -hmm. We're leaving to the Bahamas tomorrow. Today's my birthday and right across the street from us, Bahia Mar, is Riptide. This huge festival. I had no idea about. Tomorrow, Ted comes to the dock. Ted was one of the first people to show us how to sail on his awesome Roads 22. We just love how many great people we've met along this journey. We leave and we head to the Bahamas. Like perfect timing for everything and we didn't plan any of it. We got a sweet weather window. I think we're looking yeah. at 10 to 15, uh, seas two to three and the winds are gonna come from the south. Yay. So and we're going up to the West End, so it's gonna push us right up. Yeah, and we plan to not check. We're not gonna check in at West End. We're gonna anchor and then check into Cur Turtle yeah, we're gonna, Bay. We're gonna, we're gonna anchor at Main Grove, I think, and then um, uh, then maybe to Great Sail, and then go on. So yeah, we want to go all the way and check in at uh, Green Turtle. Yeah, what a great way to spend my birthday. It's gonna be great. It's memorable for sure. We'll have birthday. Thank you. Just left the dock came to anchor at Lake Sylvia to wait to take off tonight and depart for the Bahamas and to pick up Ted from the dock when he flies in. And on the way here, pulling off the dock, Jeremiah noticed that the engine wasn't really kicking into gear. Go figure. Wish it could have happened any of the other days that we were on the dock. We ran the engines every day, put them into gear forward and reverse to make sure everything was working. And so it happens, it happens today, the day we're leaving. So we are now anchored in Lake Sylvia, trying to troubleshoot what's going on. And there he is, once again. Airing into our yacht commander. Can't believe how high tech that thing is. Mm-hmm. This is the rod, this rod in here. Something's wrong in here. So if the motor's running and the motor's good still? The motor's fine, everything's fine. It's just taking it in and out of gear. There's an Allen wrench in here. It's basically just a gear and it's going inside this other gear and if it spins that, that should spin this. See it spinning? Yeah. It's working. Yeah, it's not working well. This is what's shit. So you just could order a new one and get it and put it on, right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yacht controller. Uh, and I'm looking. I'm, I'm looking to see if I can find somebody that uh, can help me out with servicing my broke. All right. So we're back on the dock now. Issue with the yacht controller, yacht commander system. The engine went into reverse, uh, I and it wouldn't go out of it wouldn't go out of reverse at all. Like it was just I was motoring forward with the uh, port engine, and uh, it was it would just stay in reverse. So I tore it apart, and I'll show you. It's basically like a fly-by-wire system. Pretty expensive aftermarket piece here, but obviously the more advanced things are, the more they break, right? This is the throttle, and this is the gear select. So when you put it in drive, this box, it, it's coming from the wires there. So this box is where the, the actual uh, motors are that will put the engine in drive, reverse, neutral, or throttle, up or down. There's two motors in here. You put it, the motor spins, it goes through some gears over here, and it puts it in drive, or uh, drive is actually backwards, for, reverses forward, and it's in neutral right now. So you can also manually do this from these knobs. It's designed so there's a, knob, a handle on there, so you can just put it in reverse, neutral, or drive. Now the problem with that is, I don't want to go to the Bahamas needing a part that I don't know if I can get from them. I don't know if they're going to want to come repair it. It should be under warranty. It's brand new. So we pull back into the dock in the marina, and I've already made a bunch of calls, but of course today's Sunday. So only one person answered the phone and their answer was, well, they'll probably get back to you tomorrow. So tomorrow we're going to be busting our butt trying to get this thing, the little uh, gears back together and get it working again and also get some spares. 
In the meantime, we're going to have our buddy Ted come down. Uh, he's hoping to be able to make the crossing. We could have made the crossing tonight, and we have an opportunity to make it tomorrow night. After that, the winds will shift back to the north, and we'll have to wait for the next window to cross. So, so we're being optimistic. Um, probably grab a couple beers, sit back. There's not much more we can do with this. Hi. I kept telling him as soon as like we get going, I'll sit down and do the gingerbread house with him. And he woke That's up from great. his nap and he's like, um, are we going to do the gingerbread house? Because we're at the marina. <laughs> what are we doing here, Reese? <laughs> I'm making gingerbread house. Okay. <laughs> well, good morning, little guy. Ted has been like great. He has been like, I'll come whenever you want me to come, yada, yada, yada. So today was perfect. His flight is supposed to be here in a couple of hours. We're in a dinghy to go get him. We came back to the dock because hopefully that'll help ex expedite the problem that we're having with getting somebody in here to fix it tomorrow Monday morning. So Ted's like, I'm gonna come anyways, guys, and hope for the best, which is a great attitude to have. Hopefully we can leave tomorrow. We spoke to some other people in the marina. They're leaving tomorrow. Kind of brings our spirits a little bit higher. The weather window's still open, but we're cutting it close. There's no room for any more errors, and we need to get this fixed Mommy. pretty quickly to leave Mommy. tomorrow. Ted arrived. Welcome to the video, Ted. <laughs> so we would be leaving, but we're not. We're actually just sitting here watching Delos. <laughs> They're on the big on the big TV. We got Ted on board, not by dinghy. He just got to walk on the boat, so that's pretty cool. I'm yeah. sure it would have been cooler for dinghy. But uh, waiting on parts. So we ordered it. The guy's supposed to be coming, and then hopefully leaving tonight. I think either way, as long as we can get the part mailed to us. We will be leaving tonight and we will be shifting gears like they did in the olden days. <laughs> oh, on the boat? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, we no, hope no, we will have hope, if he comes, we're gonna be good. We're gonna be good. Yeah. So just waiting really and then we'll be leaving tonight. So we ordered some pizza because I guess my wonderful husband feels like he won't get pizza after we leave. Out of the United <laughs> States, but you will. It just won't be from the United States. Bahamian pizza. Bahamian pizza. That's what it'll, it'll conk on it. So how, how was your first time in the boat, Ted? Uh, Slept like a rock, man. Yeah. yeah. When you're tied up, it's pretty easy, right? Yeah. 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 Nice. So you're, you're like six five. So was it enough room for you? I curled up in a little ball. But, uh, <laughs> all right. Our tanks are pretty full but we don't have time to pull into the fuel dock to top them off. We're waiting on the guy to get here to fix the yacht commander. So uh, Ted and Jeremiah walked on over there, got us some fuel to top it off. And we have full tank. Weird. Oh well. So much for filtering it, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just buy this? We do have two ray cores. No. Do you watch it? Tonight's the night. Everything's coming together perfectly. Last minute checks and a technician for the yacht commander was on board. We're so excited and more importantly, we are ready. This one over here doesn't move at all. Yeah, this one. I can, I can hear the, end, the little motor in there doing a little port of turn. We got the reef in and um, what we're gonna do is the bottom of the sail is a little bit loose. This one should be throttle right here. That is. So Ted was trying to figure it out. We we're trying to figure out what we're going to do, but uh, we'll have to play with it some more. What we're going to do is just keep the reef tight at the bottom, which you can see in a minute, and then uh, the sail should be good. The fix? There was nothing we could do. The entire unit had to be replaced. A very costly repair, and it was not covered by a warranty. We're back up, but that one hurt the pocketbooks. We'd like to be included in your 2230 opening were the sailing vessel approaching from the north. That's a different voice. Is this Calypso? It sure is. Very confusing. First it's a whale and now it's not a whale. Where are you, Captain? We're approaching from the north right now, heading towards the bridge. Okay, we'll keep it coming and we'll do the south of Marker 27, please. I think that... Yeah, that's 27. You can't see that? You need to get your damn contacts in. <laughs> I can't stand them. They make uh, she that. she got contacts, and she made actually I had to do something, and then her agreement was she would try it for two weeks straight, and I made an agreement that I would do what she wanted me to do, and she would do that. She's like, no problem, and she didn't. She she did one day. I did two days. 
two days. Not even like consecutive days. I can't stand them. They're awful, but I can't see. I'll get my glasses. Let's see what you look reaction. like with your glasses on. Oh. Ooh, so I put them on, I'm like a different girl. <laughs> <laughs> the freak comes alive. <laughs> to hit this pylon. Here you go. We're offshore. Yeah. I think we're probably, what, four miles maybe offshore? How do you feel? Coming up on the Lazy Geckos, we're Bahamas bound, baby. Gorgeous. Take both engines slowly back to neutral. Gosh, they're so long. <laughs> Town. I downloaded some new charts. Weather window to cross through the whale. I saw something. Are you gonna go around the whale or through the dump whale? We're gonna go. We're gonna attempt to go around the whale. Everybody's basically terrified of Whale Key. Our episodes are fueled by Patreon. See how you can be a part of our journey at patreoncom forward slash geckos. Want to get behind the scenes? Follow us on Instagram. There's tons more fun to see on our Vimeo channel. You can find the link in the description below.